And we are following breaking news from the world of science. A Canadian is one of the three winners of the Nobel Prize for her work in the field of laser physics. That is Dr. Donna Strickland, also an associate professor at the University of Waterloo. She was recognized for developing a way of generating high intensity and very short laser pulses. She's going to share part of the nearly $1 million prize as she becomes, get this, the first woman in 55 years to win this honor. And we continue to learn more about uh, Dr. Strickland as the morning progresses, so we'll bring you more on that. Meanwhile, other stories that we're following at this hour, a sister desperate to find her brother, looking for your help and getting him home safe. 31-year-old Brandon McRae, last seen around 2 yesterday afternoon in the Danforth and Don Valley area. His sister, who says McRae is living with autism, reported him missing around 8 o'clock last night after he failed to show up at home. McRae is described as 6 foot 1, an average build, salt and pepper hair, was wearing a black leather jacket and gray track pants. An online sale of a cell phone. That is what started a frightening hit and run robbery that injured a 31 year old woman. This happened just before 8 o'clock on Silverstone Drive near Albion and Highway 27. The victim responding to the ad arranged to meet the seller at the plaza. When the seller showed up, the person allegedly grabbing the woman's cash and taking off and while trying to stop the suspect, the victim hit by their car. Police now on the hunt for a black four-door vehicle. They have not released a model or make. To politics now, Quebec electing a new premier and for the first time in 48 years, they are not part of the Liberals or Parti Québécois. Francois Legault from the right-leaning coalition Avenir Quebec party has been elected to office. Legault scrutinized on the campaign trail for his controversial views on immigration as he ran on a policy that would have newcomers to Quebec booted from the province if they failed a French test. Legault also says his party is federalist and they will not be holding a referendum on sovereignty. The truck driver accused in April's deadly Humboldt Broncos bus crash back in court today facing 29 dangerous driving charges. 29-year-old Jaskaret Sidhu faces 16 counts of dangerous driving causing death, 13 counts of dangerous driving causing bodily harm. After an extensive investigation, Sidhu was arrested in July at his Calgary home. The RCMP say their probe showed evidence that the motor vehicle was being operated in a way that was dangerous to the public. Sidhu was not injured in the crash. One amazing story of survival out of Indonesia as the death toll from Friday's powerful quake and tsunami now rises to over 1,200. Have a look at this. Rescue workers spending three hours pulling a 38-year-old man from the rubble of a building in one of the country's worst-hit cities. He had been trapped since Friday. Rescuers also digging through debris of a collapsed hotel where 50 people are believed to be inside.